e even though Okay, that's fair. Even but thank you. Though. Thank you. I'm bowing at the minute. I don't you can't see it. Let me bow far enough that my head hits the desk. There you go. Jesus Christ. That was a joke, I punched it, it's fine, don't worry, I didn't actually give myself oh, okay. a concussion for the bit. <laughs> oh yeah, Beth. Yeah? I watched a video talking about Lily Orchard's review of uh, Delicious in Dungeon. Oh, uh, why did you did fucking they? watch that? Because I wanted to know what she said. She deleted the video now, apparently. This is just a recap. Uh, and wow. I think that the most egregious issue that she had with it was she cause she said Lyos was the worst character and said he's a sociopath and things like that when he's like clearly an autistic coded character and she was just being incredibly ableist basically. Uh, she's had like, okay, okay. Like, I'm- I'm not- I- I am not, like, autistic, so I can't really comment on this, uh -huh. right? I think she just has very specific takes about what's good autistic representation. She says- she says Sheldon is good autistic representation. Yeah, the Big Bang Theory thing. Yeah. Well, do you feel that? Whereas, like, Bios was intentionally written to be an autistic character. And Sasha is, is Sasha says Lyos is very relatable. She earlier was like, <laughs> earlier she was like, have you ever heard me say Bazinga? <laughs> and then and I was like, no. And she's like, well, have you ever seen me act like Lyos? And I was like, yeah. She's like, see. <laughs> I thought that was funny. I think she also didn't she also hate um that one character from Shira, the one who was purple. The one who was There's the a lot tech of other princess. details to it, but like that was the main thing that stood out to me. Do any Shira remembers? Could they comment on this? Like I think she said that like I think she said that character was like bad autistic representation. Is there? <laughs> She also complained that Laios is blonde hair and blue eyed, but he doesn't have blue eyes. Wait, what do you mean she complained about that? What in what in what context? She said he's just like a basic guy character because he he's blonde haired and blue eyed. <laughs> but he doesn't have blue eyes. <laughs> She also complained, uh, she's like, how come Fallon never opens her eyes? Like, what's up with that? I think it's, it's a, wait, is this like a Brock from Pokemon thing? She's a, apparently she canonically has poor eyesight, so she's squinting all the time. Okay, that makes sense. I like how Eggman goes, this is a delicate machine! But why are you fucking trying to fight Sonic with it? Like, I think you should have seen this coming, Eggman. Eggman's kind of a dumbass in this game. Yeah, Eggman's a fucking consider. idiot. Why doesn't this thing have a pile bunker? <laughs> give, give a Sonic pile buzz a pile bunker! Please, Eggman, <laughs> simmer down. So how is this thing just floating here anyway? It's falling. Yeah, but we're not moving down. Well, it's supposed to be that things are so big that you just stylistically don't see them move. <laughs> and this is falling slow because it's a very like wide, thin platform <laughs> that displaces a lot of air. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Eggman is under a lot of stress. I think the, that's the thing I love about his fight, is that in this game, Eggman's effectively won, right? He's Bill Eggman land, right? Which okay. has been his goal ever since, like, Sonic Adventure 1, right? Mm -hmm. So at this point, all he has to do is not fucking cock it up, you know? Uh -huh. He's already won, you know? He just has to, like, now take care of Sonic, it's, it's locked in, <laughs> right? 
<laughs> and you can hear that desperation from him, because he can feel it slipping away. He knows he's gonna get owned. <laughs> I'm not owned, I'm not owned. As he slowly shrinks into a corn cob. Oh, I didn't want to be a corn cob. That's the wrong Eggman voice for this game, but I don't want to do a Mike Pollock, especially since, you know, he's a dunk ass apparently. <laughs> Give up and die already. No, thank you. Here's one for the road, Sonic. Here's one for the road, Sonic. That implies that I'll get out of this. Wait, Shadow will be a swear hog in the next movie? Oh my god, Shan! I gotta read now a uh, 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 article excerpt that I was talking about in a group chat. Of some people. There are hours of recordings of Shadow. Yeah, Sasha saying was the telling me that. Yes, yeah, I mentioned it Shadow the Hedgehog. Earlier yeah. On the stream. I know, I just I finally found the, the article. <laughs> Reveals Shadow the Hedgehog voice actor. The quote says Right. They were going for an M rating this game and they hadn't yeah, heard so back from the agency me. if they were going to get it yet. <laughs> so they had me record two takes for every line. I swear, the version for the M rating, they had me say fuck in every line. <laughs> in every line. In just every sentence, I'd be yelling, Sonic, give me that fucking Chaos Emerald. Or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> There's a hard drive somewhere of hours of recordings of Shadow yelling fuck at Tails <laughs> and Sonic and stuff. He said, oh you're more wistfully looking into the distance. <laughs> it's funny. One of the confirmed lines, there's one confirmed line from this, like, point in development. Well, I don't remember pressing, how it was confirmed. What? I'm pressing like... Y! What the- I- I- Huh? Oh, the control- the controller has- has stopped. No! No! My controller! No! Just- just- okay, pause in the I program! Can't, Get I can't, your mouse! I can't! Look I can't somewhere. pause! No! There's no- there is nothing! No! Why? No! I think it's really funny, cause like... Oh, there we go. What, did, what was Eggman saying a minute ago? Ah, no! The controls won't respond! <laughs> that was Uno reversed onto you. Uh, yeah, what was I saying? Um, one of the lines I know from the, like, pre-toned down version of Shadow the Hedgehog uh -huh. is Sonic, in, you know, his Chase the Griffith voice, this one's like, Hey, I'm Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. No, that's too much, that's too high pitch. Guess being a princess isn't that easy. It's all that voice, you know, the 06 uh -huh. one and the Shadow one. Him going, Hey, Shadow, don't want to piss gun off. <laughs> or something like that. Piss. <laughs> piss. Hey Shadow, you could press the A button any time to pit. <laughs> on gun. Oh my okay. god. Specifically, you can only piss on the gun soldiers. <sighs> yeah, because they're the ones who like lay on the ground when you hit when you kill them. The aliens just turn to blood. I think it'd be really funny if it was a piss mechanic. Because then every single char character would have to have like several voice lines for the different console versions, right? Imagine, because uh -huh. you know, it's like in Shadow the Hedgehog, you know, like uh, me and Arrow have like a stream feature based on this. But there's all these clips of every character being like, Shadow, have you tried going up? Hey, Shadow, have you tried looking up? You know, just for every character. <laughs> And then, like, more general ones, like, we have, like, a clip of, like, Vector being like, You can use a right stick to look around! You know? <laughs> you can use the C stick to look around! And that's not a very good Vector. <laughs> you do it. You, you used to be good at Vector back in the day. <laughs> you fucking do it. Dickhead. I only got a C rank this time. Oh, no! I got the cum rank. Oh, Beth, I have something to tell you about. Yeah. 
So I watched the, uh, I watched the summoning salt video about, uh, about Ennius Tetris last night. Yeah. And you know how there was that kid who famously beat Tetris? Um... This? Yeah, I'm listening. You know about that kid? You remember that? I don't actually up it's on my head. Can you re explain uh, it? Well, basically, there was just this teenager who managed to be the first person ever to quote unquote beat Tetris, which is just playing it so far that it just gives up and crashes, basically. <laughs> um, but the, and there, you know, it was, that was big in the media. Like, he got to go on the news, he got to meet, he got to meet the creator of Tetris. You know, stuff like that. It was a big deal, right? Yeah. The first person to ever beat Tetris. However, the detail that I didn't know until watching the Summoning Salt video is there's actually another guy who had been studying this for years, right? Like, go yeah. like going into the game and like figuring out every possible place to get the game to crash and how consistent it was. And he had it narrowed down to one specific place where the game will always crash. Which is if moving from level 155 to level 156, at that exact moment you clear exactly one line, the game will always crash, right? Yeah. Um, and he had been training for months, like practicing, trying to manage to do this. And then this kid comes yeah. out of nowhere and just does it right out from under him. Oh. Sniped. Yeah. Sniped. And then not only that, but this kid becomes like like a celeb like a like a a short term celebrity, right? Like everybody like he's on the news, everything like I said. Villain this origin guy story. Who worked for years to accomplish this gets it taken away from him. What do you think an evil in fact, canon coward would be in called? In fact, he had just he had just yeah. failed a run, right? Yeah. Where he was only a few levels away from level 155, mm -hmm. um, and then he's and then everybody in his chat is telling him, "Oh, that kid uh, is uh, he's playing it right now, and he's getting close." So they tune in, and then so immediately after he got really close and failed, he then sits and watches this kid take it out from under him, just like immediately following it. <laughs> I like. I don't know. I I like to. I <laughs> would. I, I would incredible. like to. I would like to imagine that if he had got been there to see it happen, he would still be happy. <laughs> um. He did. He did become the second person ever to manage to crash Tetris, and he did it on an earlier level. Like he managed to do it on level one hundred fifty-five. That kid went a few levels further and then managed to get it to crash. Mm. So he currently has the world record for fastest Tetris crash. <laughs> so yeah, he he can. Oh, they they both get to they both get Yeah, he can claim he can claim that as his accomplishment, as he did the he he, he crashed it better. <laughs> oh boy, it's time. I love. I love it whenever like there's like a, a like a Xbox whenever you see like a, a model in like a Xbox 360 game up close, and like the textures are just not quite big enough, because then there's always a very specific look where you have all the fancy lighting effects, right? Uh -huh. But also the textures are too low, so the <laughs> object just looks like it's encased in a thin layer of resin. <laughs> it's like blurring <laughs> its surface. Oh shit, I figured out that if I, if I slow down, it gives me more chance to, um, escape the, or, or more chance to get between the rocks. Yeah. Because it takes a little bit longer for them to get to me if I'm moving a little bit slower. That makes sense. I didn't think yeah, that's, of that. That's a, um, that's a mastery of 3D space Last time here. we were playing. You have a weird tendency to not extrapolate 3D space sometimes. No, it's not that I wasn't extrapolating 3D space, it was that I was impatient and I just wanted to get there as fast as possible. Ah, I see. So consequently you didn't extrapolate the results of 3D space. <laughs> because that's what I'm always doing, right? I'm always like, I gotta, I gotta just do the most damage possible. You get play games else. like you need a piss. <laughs> uh -huh. 
I mean, you need to do an armored core six stream of arrow. Uh oh. I don't think that would go very well. I think it'd go great, actually. I mean, out like Wait, why was Sonic was just just incomprehensibly bright there? <laughs> oh my god, the return of Hyper Sonic! I thought he was decanonized. Uh, hey, also, uh, I, just, oh. I just need to go get something out of the oven. Don't okay. talk about anything until I'm back. <laughs> Fuck me. Dark guy is getting ready to do something! The way he said that. Oh, you gotta be fucking with me right now. Here we go. The weak spot is this big eye. Understand. Best rank has come. Oh. Okay, so basically I just shouldn't be... Boosting. Oh yeah, look at how much faster I can, like, turn as well when I'm not boosting. Perfect. Or, like, like I can I can move to the side so much faster. Okay, so my strategy last time was just tanking hits. This time it's, uh, dodging. More effectively. Oh, they had to take a hat. They had to take a hat, but I was blocking. So it's okay. Oh, give me five lives back again. That's really nice. I was like, oh shit, I'm losing lives. But put me back up to full. Or, I say full, but it's like the starting amount. Alright. We're back again. Yeah. Boom. You back, Biz? Yeah. No? Oh, um, yeah. Oh, okay. I wanted to tell you some more things about the Tetris thing, because it was incredible. Okay. A lot of this was, like, so unique. Because, like... So basically, um... Uh... So level 29 of NES Tetris is supposed to be a kill screen, right? Like, you're not supposed to be able to progress past that part. Because it, yeah. it becomes so fast that you... Like, it's supposed to be... Impossible to move the pieces fast enough to do anything. Mm. Um, and for a, for like the longest time, everybody just accepted this, right? Mm. Like nobody could nobody could manage to get very far past no, the, the kill screen. Yeah. Um, what are you saying, this? No, go on. Uh, I'm just getting annoyed at your gameplay. You mean you're getting annoyed at my gameplay? I'm just a bit shit for a while. <laughs> Hi, Maxie. Hi, Maxie. Uh, but yeah. Oh, also, this I discovered that if you just don't, if you if you just don't uh, boost, then you move side to side way faster. So it's not about having more time. It's just about just vastly increased mobility. I'm that was just. I was just really stupid last time, basically. Well, both of them are the case, so... I'm not making it past the sun. Oh, we're talking about Tetris. We're not beating the, the Flaming Rock allegations. But yeah, um... So, for, for many, many years... 
like more than two decades, everybody just accepted that the kill screen was impossible to get past, right? Um, mm -hmm. However, it turns out everybody was playing by just holding down the buttons on the D-pad, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and it took until this one random Japanese player showed up and was, um, in instead of just holding down the button, he was button mashing. Mm. And then he was able to progress through the kill screen somewhat, right? Pretty consistently. Um... And so that completely revolutionized everything. Now people were button mashing. And they were able to get a little farther, right? Mm -hmm. Get higher scores. Um... And then, all the way in, like, 2021, this, this random kid who goes by the name of Cheese online, uh, actually, yeah, I think it was 2021. Anyway, uh, he, he doesn't want to have to button mash because it's, like, incredibly hard on your wrist and everything, right? Put yeah. an NES D-pad to be doing that. Um, so he has the thought that, like, well, the button just has to be pressed, right? But it doesn't matter... Like, if you use your thumb to press it down, or if you use the controller itself to press it. So you develop a method where you just rest your thumb on the D-pad, and then hit the controller from the back, and slam it into your <laughs> thumb. And he was able to button mash, like, considerably faster. Um, and that just trivialized oh, that the kill screen, cute. and now people could just play it like normal, basically. How the fuck do you do this? He throws them too fast. Yeah, basically, like, pretend this is an NES controller. Like, they wear a glove on the one hand, but they- so- so they hold it upside down, so that their- their fingers are on the A and B buttons, and they hold it like this, right? And then they wear a glove mm -hmm. on this hand, and they go like- like this, basically. And like, hit the- hit the controller into their thumb. And apparently it's pretty difficult to learn, but once you get the hang of it, it just breaks the whole game. Isn't that amazing? That's pretty funny. So like, pre before that point, the record for like the highest point, so the, the kill screen's at level 29. Before that point, it was like a miracle that people were making it to like level 46, right? Mm -hmm. With button mashing, they were able to like get that far. And then now, uh... They're getting to like level 146. <laughs> and uh, for a while, nobody could beat that one. And it's just because after uh, level 138, the game just starts falling apart. And it starts using just sort of random color palettes that it like pulls out of random parts of the game. Oh. Right? Uh, and at level 146, the color scheme is, like, so dark, it's, like, almost impossible to see the pieces anymore. Maybe when it starts getting this fast, you're gonna have to start punching some of those rocks. I have never managed to actually punch any of them. Well, that's the see, issue. there's so much wind-up. Look! He throws them too fast, and there's too much wind-up on the punch. You can't do it. You just wind up sooner. You can't! You'd have to wind up before the previous rocks showed up. <laughs> <laughs> there was a video I was watching yesterday, or the other night. It was just called The Most Dialed In Man on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And he was talking about how he was waking up at 4.30 a.m. to start his day. To then go into the office to, like... Uh... Like, he was, like, bragging about how he was gonna do, like, spreadsheets at work. Right? <laughs> it was really weird. But, like, he was joking, like, like, what could you even do at... At 4.30 in the morning? Right? Like, why, yeah. why would you be up that early? And then, like, it's like, soon these grind set people are going to be like, I woke up yesterday to start my day. <laughs> like, they're just going to start waking up the day before for their next day. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. I remember, I, was, I think it was a Reddit post or something I, I uh -huh. was listening to at one point. And it was about somebody who was like a friend, a, a, a very like casual acquaintance uh -huh. with one of these grind set types, right? Uh huh. And basically, it was just apparently like this person talking about how they only ever saw this guy very occasionally. And the guy seemed to have a very joyless life. Like, he didn't do anything other than hustle, basically, right? Uh-huh. Um, to OP, this was, like, a random acquaintance. But the acquaintance seemed to treat OP as, like, one of the few only friends. friends. Yeah, I remember, yeah, I remember reading much. this sudden. And then they, and then eventually they die, and they, nobody gives a shit, really. And that's it. It's, like, great. Nice grind set. <laughs> You just blew, you had you had one life and you fucking blew it. <laughs> I hope I'm going to not miss my chance to blow on the radio. I was sorry. I don't know. The fucking uh, also, I was gonna say about the Tetris stuff. So the so the the technique I was talking about is called rolling, and it was invented yeah. by a teenager, right? Like I mentioned. Well, there's a game over. Let's try one for today. <laughs> it's attempt number one. I'm not playing high risk. I'm playing the only way that like is possible. Yeah, if you if you block, you always take chip damage, and it looks like it looks like Elena might just be fucked if she only blocks. Yeah. I don't have any choice but to punch. I, yeah, and it wasn't working, was it? <laughs> I was blocking before and it wasn't working. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're now agreeing with me that, like, punching is necessary. I don't like that it is, but... Uh, but yeah, so, so it was invented by a teenager, and then quickly the age demographic for people playing Tetris for high scores quickly plummeted. Like, it had been, like, guys in, like, their 30s and 40s that were primarily uh score hunting in tetris right and then they basically yeah. all just dropped out of the competition as soon as the rolling technique was invented like they just couldn't keep up so i think it's kind of funny i think you're kind of funny oh thank you no problem crumby performers I did see that. I saw that recommended recently. The um, um, uh, trying to beat Sonic Unleashed on the worst laptop possible. I'm just trying to beat Sonic Unleashed, and I'm having a hard enough time. Imagine beating Sonic Unleashed. I, I only can imagine right now. <laughs> I can only oh, imagine a, the idea of being something at least. You're a funny little tub of Neapolitan, you know that. I'm a Neapolitan? Yeah, you're a funny little tub of Neapolitan, do you know that? Oh, you mean the ice cream? Yeah. But the magazine? No. The main thing I think about with the with Neapolitan uh, magazine is um, one time being at Target and seeing one of them and they, they have the word JJ on the cover in huge letters. Oh. <laughs> Literally, oh, oh yeah, oh, the, 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 like, unleashed on low quality laptop video, I saw that actually. Or at least I saw the beginning of it. It looked kind of hilarious, because, like... The game just is, is literally impossible if you don't get enough performance, apparently. I mean, it makes sense. It, was, it is a console <laughs> game. They, the console games, they're just like... Well, yeah, because the console, console game... it will be consistent always, you know? Yeah. Don't worry about varying systems. What do you if I varied your systems? Oh, thank you. Oh, 
Run away. I'm really excited for the, the Zelda Lego sets. I didn't think we'd ever get those. Lego for a long time was insistent that like we would never get that. Yeah. Nintendo just didn't want to work with Lego for a long time is the other thing, of course. But now they are very much working with, with Lego. Like we've got Lego Mario, we've got Lego Animal Crossing now. I'm not completely surprised that we've got Lego Zelda, but like, it was just the way they pushed back on it for so long. I wonder if we'll see any other Nintendo properties get Lego sets. Supposedly there's going to be a Five Nights at Freddy's thing announced at State of Play today. Oh. Yeah, Sasha said she didn't really want to watch the whole thing, but she's like, maybe I'll wake up and find out about the new Freddy's game. I think FNAF came. Oh, is it already over? Damn fake leaks. It's already over. Sorry, Sasha. Hey, Biss, if they made LEGO sets out of another Nintendo franchise, wh which one would you want it to be? <laughs> Nintendo franchise. Uh-huh. And they do LEGO. Yeah. My inner shit poster wants to say Paper Mario. Because well, I have Lego Paper Mario music. Well, they me already greatly. did the house from Paper Mario in a Lego Mario set. Well, no, they got they got Lego Paper Mario. We got we got to have uh, stuff for the Oregon King. Did you see? Did you see the? Did you see the Lego set? So it's just surprised me with. No. See. Speaking of, it's the little Animal Crossing house. Oh, it's. You. Oh, that's nice! So adorable. Yeah. It even comes with a little present with the on the balloon. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> We're gonna build the on stream tomorrow, hopefully. With this together. Okay, okay, genuine, genuine guess. But yeah, um, what, what other what other Nintendo franchise would you like to see them make Lego sets out of? Because we got Mario, we've got Animal Crossing, and we've got Zelda so far. <laughs> what else do you think they could do? Does Nintendo make anything good? My first thought... I, I was thinking about this earlier, I was thinking of Pikmin. Pikmin could make good Lego sets. <sighs> that does feel like a natural fit, doesn't it? Uh -huh. And Pikmin, they're, they're going hard into Pikmin lately, right? Like... They start, they've started, uh, like, having Pikmin as, like, top billing. Like, when, when they show, like, their, mm. like, major franchises, Pikmin isn't there now. It's like Mario, Zelda, Pikmin, Splatoon, and Star Metroid, Fox. I think, is the other one. Star Fox. <laughs> Star Fox. And I want it to all be based on assault Lego designs. Star Fox. Star Fox. I want assault-style R-Wings in Lego. <laughs> Do that, dumbass. You know what else could work well? Uh, Splatoon. What? That would be fun, I think. Splatoon Legos. <laughs> I feel like Inklings might look a little bit weird as minifigures. Uh, with like minifigure bodies. I guess it depends. Like, I don't know. I think my main thing is, right, uh -huh. is I think it's what they make the sets out of rather than what series, right? Uh huh. Like, if you show me a Splatoon set, right? Uh huh. Um, and, and, you know, we've got some, like, you know, recreations of some of the maps, 
We have some minifigs with stuff. We have like some of the octo weapons from the single player. Uh huh. Um, we have the big, the big, the big, the big head from from Octo Expansion. That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, the statue head. Oh, that thing. Cool. Like those are cool ideas, right? Uh huh. But if it's just minifigs and we special and like. Little place to Or who's the who's the plaza and who's the squid sister special stage? <laughs> I don't give a shit. And it's kind of the same thing with like everything else. It's like <sighs> like that stupid knuckles set, the knuckles mech set. Oh. Apparently that set is like a big laughing stock in like the Lego community and everything. Oh, absolutely. Because <laughs> like we and, have like, a the, character we. The mech is really stupidly built too. Knuckles can't even sit down in it for some reason. He has to stand oh. in his mech. It's really annoying because like we already have a member of the main cast who has built mechs before. He's the yellow one. <laughs> the Knuckles Why mech is, is so hard. So funny. Like how did they come up with that? Like that's just a, know, think... that's just Lego's OC right there. Okay, actually, I'm gonna do my Sonic. Mm -hmm. my I hate Sonic jumping. I, I hate jumping between rail in this game. It's so just, inconsistent. Just, just quick step. Quick step. Oh. Use the quick step buttons. I had no idea. Oh, you're not going to kill. I was me. jumping. I mean, you do have to jump at that one part. Well, no, because you can just quick step just no. before you get to the. Yes, you can. No, but it's across both rails, Biss. You have to jump over it. Yeah, but you're in the air as you're swapping. What? You're in the air as you are, are quick stepping. I don't get that. Elena, I hate you. What? You are the. No, you the, don't. He, you don't hate me. I don't hate you. I just find you. You love me? I love you. It's just. It's that's the thing is I can't afford to throw you out the window. I have to sit here with you as you're like. I accidentally resized the window slightly. That's gonna bug me. Well, okay. If if the quick step isn't high enough, right? That's fine, <laughs> right? But that's like a different thing. I don't know. Like, just just uh, that's what I need to hear then, because <laughs> I'm saying something that in theory makes sense, you know. <laughs> And you're saying roller goes above, uh, goes across both, and I'm like, well, something needs to do a high step. <sighs> like that's the thing is, Elena's not saying it doesn't go high enough. Elena's saying it goes across both, which isn't the which isn't like a thing that answers what I'm saying, and that's why I'm getting spumbino. Ow, my leg! Ow, ow, ow! I really want my leg to be okay at some point. Yeah, me too. It's. I just. I just feel like an idiot. I feel like a, a bad leg idiot. Uh -oh. uh oh. You just got doinked by a rock. I think you've been just absolutely beansing your aim on that on Dark Gaia. That's not so, Dark Gaia's fault. Dark Gaia throws one rock and it splits. So my, it's like uh, four rocks that all miss you. So my Sonic Unleashed Tumblr post is like still doing really well. Is it the river one? Yeah, the... <laughs> what do you think happens if we throw that guy in the river? Or why don't we throw that guy in the river? Or whatever. <laughs> but yeah. uh, the thing that makes me laugh is a ton of people tag it with Light Gaia. Which is accurate. Yeah. But it feels like really formal. Yeah. <laughs> it's just really funny. Like that's just chip. Why? Have... Imagine if this. So it's really funny you know that people refer to him as light Gaia like that. Imagine if it was lit Gaia and Dort Gaia. Like it sounds like he, like they're saying like his proper first name or whatever instead of the name he picked. Like it almost feels yeah. like they're dead naming him. <laughs> Which is really funny. I bet Arrow likes this this uh, character because it's like three crocodiles in Latin. 
He's kind of like That's the it. he's kind of like the king from Katamari, if uh, just the things on the side of his heads were mouths. He's kind of like Crustarola if she was fucked up. Ah, <laughs> uh, the punching sucks ass to try and pull off, but I have no chance. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. Boy. I love how like well, you take very little damage while blocking, and blocking is more consistent to pull off. So like, I feel like it m that might still be the better choice. But well, I it think gets it, it, it gets it, so fast eventually that like either choice. I think sucks. the thing is that you should be punching when you're far away, because then you save more health for blocking when you go. Close, yeah, you know? like at this point, I should be blocking all the time. But earlier on, the punches if, were probably a good idea. What if Knuckles isn't actually saying shift rock? What if he's saying ship rock? I that was just here saying a, shit. I watched a video of like Sonic conspiracy theories, like, like really like edge case odd theories. Uh -huh. um, oh, I think we're gonna make it this time. Yeah, we made and, it. Like, Holy shit! We're on the last was... cycle. Nice. Okay, I need to focus. Okay, I'll shut up. Cause the, it's really hard timing now. I have to read these button inputs really fast. I did it. Okay. Hey, what was I saying? Um. And one more. Oh no no. No, I need to focus, best. Gonna have to hold on to this thought. Cause we got a level to go through now. <laughs> Chip, you rock! Maxie's been saying <laughs> that in the in the chat every time. Oh, there's a one up sitting there. I didn't get it though. He's getting ready to do something! Oh my god. The tone of voice on that is so funny. I wasn't getting enough rings to boost. You rock! Hey, what the fuck? Now is not the time for clipping out of bounds. What? See, now that Sonic doesn't have a double jump, I keep trying to do one. Oh, well, you know. I know he's getting ready. Yeah, just miss every single fucking ring. Hurry, Sonic. Uh -huh. I get it's a catch-22, but you do have ring magnets as when you boost. I know. I've noticed. Also, I think there's an extra life on this, on this one. Yeah, I keep missing it every time though, because it's on a platform that has the little zoomers, and I can't not hit them. See? Look, you just hit it. I can't get out of it. I don't know how you're supposed to get that based, one on. I think it's based on, like, you have to hit the right ramp. I don't know. Or maybe the left ramp or something? I think I hate this final boss, to be honest. What? The... What the fuck? How did they manage that one? Yeah, you have to hit the left ramp at that point. It is worth it though, since if you consistently do that, we're in like a infinite life loop. Yeah. Unless you have to make it there. All right, that's attempt number two. That's attempt number two. <sighs> 
You know, uh, just a little heads up here, uh, Factoid. Um, uh huh. I think being here at my desk makes my leg hurt a little bit more. Don't so I went on the say. record that every time you bungled this, you sentenced me to pay. Uh, well, here, look at the classic space baby. With the robot nurse. That's that's great, Elena. Thank you for that. Uh -huh. Also, look at the the UFO guy. <laughs> look, he's got the Earth and Moon back there in space. He's a, he's he's a funny alien. That's pretty. That's pretty great, Elena. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Sasha gave me those today, and it was really nice of her. Alright, at least the Eggman part is trivial. I have never failed at this. I've never even lost a single life at it. It's very difficult to, like, to, to fail. The only place I might conceivably mess up is the, uh, the quick time events, and I haven't done it so far, so... Here's hoping that continues. Imagine if they took all your quick time events and turned them into slow time events. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is the thought people they know. That was a hell of a nice. mole over. Give it a bonk, Sonic. The green round thing looks suspicious. Give it a bonk, Sonic, he says while I'm actively bonking it. Hi, Shan. How's it? Oh, you're huddled up in bed? I admire your lifestyle. Chip is one of the least helpful helper characters that Sonic has ever had. <laughs> He's always telling me things that I'm already in the middle of doing. <laughs> so, the, so in that last segment, the left ramp gives me a one-up then. Is that what was- yeah, the left ramp? Okay. Oh. What was I saying earlier? I managed to fuck up the quick time. It said RB, but I pressed LB. I like if you, you press the wrong button just within one frame, Eggman parries that shit. <laughs> like, like, Sonic doesn't slip, you know? Like, Sonic doesn't mess up. It's just Sonic fails to mentally like, inhibit Eggman's abilities through psychic connection. <laughs> Lost control again. Don't apart on me now. Let's do this. D-Y. Aww. The kitten. A. The meowsters. No. The little kitties. I mean, I like being alone sometimes. It's it, it, it's it's selective though. There you go. Well, that's good, Sham. <laughs> it just goes. Now look what you've done. Yeah, it did what I was trying to do. Just I thought break the machine. Nipped that thing. It de nipped it. Yeah, it <laughs> one bit of lactate again. Oh, there again. Uh, oh, yeah, and Chip goes, the ground's breaking up! Like he's Tails and Sonic Heroes. Well, I hate Speedy! <laughs> oh. I mean, how would you feel if we were Sonic Heroes? I think we are. Okay, who's the speed type then? You. I, I don't think that's the case, Elena. I guess I I'm the one that. who rides a bike. 
Yeah, your speed type. I guess I have to end up. I guess I just end up being flying type by virtue of oh, being yeah, that's the winged one. So then, yeah, I don't it, know who's I, the fu <laughs> I don't know. Why I didn't think of that. Is arrow power type? Then, yeah, I was I gonna maybe? say arrow would be the power type one. Oh, or Sham. And that works, yeah. Shen's the power type. <laughs> what are some of your Sonic Heroes quotes, Elena? You're visiting New York for the Sonic Symphony next week? Oh, nice. Oh, you lucky! Uh, I feel so bad. I should have booked when they were doing them in London. I should have fucking gone and I didn't. I'm a <laughs> stupid idiot. Why did I fucking do that? I went to the Zelda Symphony about nine years ago. I think eight years ago, not nine yet. Oh yeah, yeah, the Zelda Symphony. Mm-hmm. Maybe somehow see Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does things one would expect of a spider. Can he ship web from ass? No from wrist. You went to the Zelda Symphony, know that. Hey, Thanks. This is Sp Spider-Man. Oh, he yeah, is um... oh, of part. He fights criminals in the park. So... Swing from web, stop the crime. He protects Innocent lady dime. Hey oh spider. So the man. uh thing of Zelda so the Zelda Lego set is a big one, right? Um and when it was announced, Sasha found somebody on Twitter just being like, imagine paying three hundred dollars for plastic bricks. Please three hundred dollars for plastic <laughs> bricks. Like... Assembles them real quick. And it was like <laughs> Way to aggro the entire LEGO community with one tweet, basically. <laughs> it was like that person's sex. like, why do I hear boss music? And makes marks. Peter Parker's LEGO Doc Heyo <laughs> Spider Man. <laughs> ah. Fuck me, I forgot there was one more. Like, I'd like taken my hands off the controller because I thought it was done. Logs into Bricklink and makes a sting. Lack of L pieces in bright pink. He, he screams, <laughs> he cannot finish. His Barbie Playhouse. <laughs> Crossover with Zelda the Minish. Hey, oh. <laughs> it's Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a post the other day that was about like, um, the idea of, of superheroes being like like not being very well known outside of their locality, like they're just kind of like local cryptids. Yeah. And like people like tourists show up and they're like, "Hey, what the fuck is this?" And everybody's like, "Oh yeah, this, this is Spider-Man. That's yeah. normal." It was kind of one of those in Portland, Oregon, where just the the uh, the the Unipiper, the guy who dresses in a Darth Vader costume with uh, a kilt and uh, rides a unicycle and plays the bagpipes. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, and speaking of him, I saw him at the Zelda Symphony. So what oh, type cool. I've actually seen him in real oh. life was he was he was hanging out in front of the Zelda Symphony. <laughs> I've heard of this guy. He's pretty aggressive and clickbaity, and he seems he's meant to pay for just by the guy. He's <laughs> Jameson in the house. He he slanders. I just, I'm so tired. That sounds like Please. Shan. That sounds like a command. <laughs> Oh my god! Shen's telling me to come again. Oh. How would you feel if, if a quick time event just prompt came up on screen and it was just said come 50 times? <laughs> <laughs> or you lose the boss? And I'm coming again, coming again, coming again.
Spider-Man watches Neil Breen, shows the movie to Wolverine. He says it's shit. Peter flies into a rage and fucking dies. They This is Spider-Man. Uh, now I'm life, just thinking about that. Finds Mr. Bean. Wolverine <laughs> finds British comedy obscene. I'm thinking about my favorite Can't scene from <laughs> Spider-Man and his amazing friends yeah. now. Where, uh... <laughs> the Wolverine jumps through the air at the villain, who then dodges. <laughs> and he just keeps going and gets his claws stuck in the wall. And he's like, <laughs> I'm stuck! <laughs> I could never stop thinking about that. <laughs> he just he just planked in midair and yeah, went in like a like, dart. He was like a Superman pose, and then <laughs> his claws get stuck in the wall. And also, they gave him an Australian accent in that show for some reason. He's supposed to be Canadian. The Wolverines are Australian animal. But he's Canadian. This is like the only yeah, time Wolf. they ever messed that up. No, no, he got he got his accent in the procedure. <laughs> Adamantium is just what Australium is called in the Australian. <laughs> MCU. Ugh. Elena, you get very angry every time I tell you about TF2 lore. Oh yeah. So don't start. You can tell me about the Sonic Fringe Theories thing now. Oh, it was, that was just stupid. Like, one was that Sonic, the blue parts of Sonic are a suit he wears. <laughs> That's funny. Sonic skin theory. One of them was that Eggman makes the levels in, in anticipation of Sonic showing up. <laughs> um, one of them was like, what was it? Fucking. One of them was the theory that like the the move the bad movie Sonic was always supposed to be replaced. It yeah, was that that was stuff. a big that that was popular when that originally happened. <laughs> I think I forgot the rest of. I think was that all of them. Let me go look. I think my brain might have filtered some of them out because they were garbage information. <laughs> Don't blame you. <laughs> Oh, oh, this is the worst one. Sonic Extreme's development went off the rails because Nintendo sent an undercover agent to sabotage it <laughs> so that Super Mario 64 would sell better. <laughs> and the worst part is the person in the video was like, yeah, this, this, I, I don't necessarily believe this one, but it's one of the most plausible ones. What? What was it again? Yeah, the Nintendo... Stop them from what? Nintendo send an un sends an undercover agent to go ruin the development of Sonic Extreme. <laughs> <laughs> Sega doesn't need that any help corporate. ruining development of their own games, I don't think. That, that is true. They can blunder that shit well enough on their own, I don't think they need any help. Blunder that shit on their own. Help is not something they've ever known. <laughs> DIY! Failures, they cock it up <laughs> from Australia go. to the Netherlands, all across the world. He's holding him gently like a little doll. Oh, oh, is it is a fairy fuel in there? Mm-hmm. Sonic. Oh, fuck, I didn't see that all, one. All, all of the characters in Sonic are human children who are playing make-believe. Except for Eggman, who's their dad. He's their dad. <laughs> I love how this <laughs> Oh, no, 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 they're just imagining that he's evil. That's the how does he feel about that? I, I don't, well, I mean, I don't know, I think... Like, and what about, what about and... Eggman's canonical children, like Sage and uh, Metal Sonic? 
Shut up. Do they fit into this? This is making me think of SpongeBob skin theory. Except for uh, the difference is that these theories have no. things to say. For no, no, skin no, theory, skin it's just like. <laughs> just is what it is. No, skin theory, I think, is actually, like, really good. I see. Even though it turns out the whole video was made as a joke. No, because here's my thing with skin theory, right, okay? Is that, like. Is that, like, even if there's no act, even if it doesn't mean anything intentionally, right? Mm hmm. I think it's an interesting observation about the style of comedy they do, right? Uh-huh. That, like, because comedy <laughs> is so often about <laughs> revealing things, right? Mm-hmm. Skin theory is basically just... Isn't it funny how often they make it so that things were actually secretly other things in order to create punchlines? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the way they do that is the easiest way. It's just everything is just disguised. The, you know... Ouch. Like, it's a funny trend. Uh-huh. Okay, another theory is that 06 actually had a better build, but they su but Come an on. act of sabotage caused them to submit the wrong Come build, on. and Yuji Naka oh, did I made that it. on purpose. Holy shit! Because I made he hates it. the series. I made it. Okay, I gotta focus again now. <sighs> okay. Okay. I gotta remember to hit the left ramp. Don't let, don't ever let me forget the left ramp. Remember, you can quick step even outside of quick step sections. That might help you get on that ramp. Chip's grunting noises are incredible. You rock! It is the left ramp. Me when I find out the electronics are made of silicon. Chip! You rock! Why do you keep skipping the wall running segment? What wall running segment? You know where you, you fall down that little thing and then there's a spring at the end? There's a, a way on the right you can just run up the wall. Like that's why there's a ramp leading onto the wall what and ramp? swings on the wall. I, no, I have no idea what you're talking about this. I've seen none of this. I am going to take a screenshot and send it to you. And you won't look because you won't want to see it. I know you, <laughs> you're like that. You jumped over the fucking ramp. <gasps> Yo! I thought I didn't need the one-ups after all. Nice. We made it to phase two. You gotta be fucking with me. <laughs> Don't tell me there's a phase two. <laughs> Don't tell me that there's more. Oh, his, his fart is going all across the planet. <laughs> why is this part render? Why, why is this real time? I think this part actually is pre-rendered, but it's just in-game models. It just looks in-game.
Yeah. It's a different loading screen. They look at Amy. Hey. Are you sure? Because this really looks like an engine. It's just as the Gaia manuscripts foretold, and the world shall be plunged into the dark of night. Well, I mean, the, the bit earlier the was. Okay, my, it's just the bit earlier was like all CG, and like there was no scene when it swapped the in game stuff, as far as I could tell. <laughs> I see. So that just feels like it would be part of the video just to make it easier. We're just gonna have to talk slash use again, Amy. It'll be okay, yeah? <laughs> Oh lord. He looks so different in this in the cutscene. Oh you nice fluid simulation. He's got more eyeballs. Oh the noises. What the fuck? I've never seen this before. Why does he look like that? <laughs> if I don't make it past this today, I am not trying again. That's the end of Sonic Unleashed. Oh. I can't do it anymore. I'm so done with this game. Elena? This is bottom tier Sonic. Elena? Yeah? Come on, we're going super. Let's, let's, this is, this is it. Let's fucking go, Elena. Oh, that's, Perfect it's, it's Dark Gaia. Right, Chip, I mean, I think perfect should be a quote, so... <laughs> it's like perfect cell. I guess if he was perfect, he'd look like a man. <laughs> yeah. He would he would lose his weird lizard form and just turn into like a humanoid guy with muscles. Try to get rings in the section. I'm trying to. The the controls are reversed. Oh fuck you, Arrow. Every time the vertical the vertical like axis is inverted to anything, I'm like, fuck you, Arrow. <laughs> So, why is there like gay tension between Sonic and Chip? <laughs> like Sonic like seems so like like he's like speechlessly impressed with with Chip all the time. <laughs> like he doesn't even have words to express how he feels about Chip. Oh, Elena, Elena. Huh? Pummel, pummel, pummel the the the, the bingles. Oh yeah, you're pummeling those bingles. Good job. You gotta keep pummeling. When one bingle goes in, you wanna go look for another bingle. What did you think I was doing? Okay, I'm just, I'm just, 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 just. Sorry, I'm just, just very antsy at the minute. I have six, six lives. So like, we have six attempts to do this. And Sonic Unleashed is an evil, evil game, though. <laughs> like, you know, it's been... <laughs> you don't gotta remind me. I understand. After we beat him, he's going to go back into the ground where he will mature for seven years. <laughs> Regaining his power. <laughs> Gaia Colossus is dying. The, di the Gaia Colossus. The Gaia Colossus is dying. <laughs> Repost if you're a real chip head. <laughs> the Gaia Colossus fandom is dying. Repost <laughs> if you're a real chip head. I guess if you're a real chip head, you call him Light Gaia, according to people in Tumblr. The tags I always see. Imagine flexing that you know the real name oh, of God the damn it. character. <laughs> 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 Yo, 
Yeah, let's just the pour. Blog. Let's just pour even more budget into video games, so that they can make Hollywood level CGI cutscenes. <laughs> let's pour more budget in, and then not spend it on the actual. Um, if you don't understand, though, Elena, it's ambitious. It's Kino. Oh wait, so the controls are actually not reversed, and that's what's throwing me off. Because you press up to go up and down to go down, but usually it's not like that when you're flying. You're a person. Not a plane. Also, when you boost, you have ring magnetism, so... I know. Oh, I got an extra life. Okay, I guess we oh, basically shit, nice. have infinite tries, because if I get enough rings, I get an extra life. What are you doing, Chip? What are you doing, Chip? <laughs> I love that Chip just like... How many people do you think Ship, Chonic, and Chip? <laughs> probably not many. Based on this. Probably people who are like, Chip is baby-coded because he's tiny. Well, he's also like millions of years old, apparently. Oh my, Elena, Elena. <laughs> you know, you know what people's response is gonna be, don't you? <laughs> oh, it's well, like the six thousand year old yeah, lollies. Same exact thing. But does Chip show like, uh, well, how old is Sonic? You know, like, do they show a similar level of maturity to each other? Sonic is fifteen. Although now the ages have been kind of dropped, I guess. Yeah. Which I think I think like... was done only because they didn't only because they wanted to like <laughs> they were like okay fuck it we need to just like we you know we need to just make it so that people's ships are less weird and this is the best <laughs> way to do that is just not even like have the they don't have the details that could make them off you know. <laughs> Reminds me of people who always bring up, like, you know Hatsune Miku is 16, right? It is annoying... <laughs> it's like, that, they, ...that they, like, make her 16. I think it's most... But it's always the thing, is, like, in any case, it's like, I don't think the people who are drawing her in those ways are considering that she's 16, you know? Or, like, that yeah. she's supposed to be 16 and they're drawing. That's the thing that always gets me, is if people are, like, into that stuff, they're not going to be into depictions of adults, right? Like, if you make a character yeah. look like an adult, then, like, you're not... You're not like appealing to those people. I have to interrupt. The rocks hurt you, you know? I know! I'm trying to avoid them, but, like, I can't see them until they're right in front of my fucking face. I know, I... I'm, I know, it's... it's... It's a little bit of a shitty mini game. Let's be real. We're gonna be here a while. Uh, it's, as long as we keep getting that 100 rings, yes. The controls here are just throwing me off so badly. I cannot. My my brain just wants to move him like an airplane. But I have to move him, like, literally. Uh... You get over Chip's delivery of Sonic! <laughs> the dark Gaia looks so much doofier now. Yeah, He's silly-coated a... now. <laughs> it's like the two weird, like, Tongue mustache pieces of the outfit. It's I the think. big eye that is getting me. It's like so big, it's like almost cutesy. Like the perfect dark guy looks cute now. He's like a little guy to me now. Little guy big parentheses little guy. big. Yeah. <laughs> He's a little guy parentheses big. Very large. Dark guy, a plushy one. When Sega stops being cowards.
We never even got, I don't think we've even gotten like a perfect chaos plush. Have we ever gotten a chip plush? Oh, we must have. Chip is like mascot he, core. Yeah, he's, if he, if he, we he a chip plush. Chip is plush coded. Plushy core character. <laughs> the music here is kind of good. Look at that. Yeah, it's a it's a remix of the main theme and those possibilities. And those possibilities. That's a that's a Super Mario's theme. And there's more of these fuckers. Damn it. Oh, come on. I don't know how to avoid this shit. God damn it. Oh my god. Actually, I don't think Alina's heard the actual song. No. What actual song? Endless Possibilities. I think. Does it play in the game? Um, it plays in the second half of the credits. Oh. So you you'll get to hear it. I hope I don't get copyright claimed for it. No, it's I not. I got copyright it's not a claimed song. for the beginning it's, of the game. It's not a licensed song. It's a it's a song. Yeah, but like. Still get copyright claim for that shit sometimes. Oh. Yeah, I got copyright claimed for the opening cutscene. You know? I think Chip would have actually been much more helpful if he'd stayed on the outside and helped us punch the worm. But see, one thing that I know is that Chip doesn't have a little kid voice. He has a remarkably, like, low voice. That he is he true. sounds like a guy, you know. Like I could imagine a... that like both Sonic and Chip are like teenagers, you know. Yeah, it's just that one of them's a doofus. <laughs> and the other one is Chip. Also, I wanted to say, uh, Sasha and I went to see the, uh, the Garfield movie the other day. Yeah. And I did not really have much expectations for it, because, you know, it's Garfield. Garfield tends to be pretty yeah. milk toast of the franchise. But the Garfield movie was actually, I was pleasantly surprised, it was actually pretty good. I, like, found it actually really funny a lot of the time. It's probably the best Garfield thing that I've ever seen. Which doesn't say a lot because Garfield, as mentioned, is very milk toast. Not a lot of substance to Garfield. But uh, the Garfield movie was really funny. It's by uh, Sony Animation Studios, who have been putting out mm. a lot of really good stuff in the last few years. You know, they did Spider Verse. Oh, cool. They did uh, the Mitchells versus the Machines. That's another really good one. The animation was really, really good. They're doing the, you know, whole cheating to the camera to make stuff look 2D thing. Distributed by Sony? Nice. Is that made by them? Really? Well, whatever the case is, it was really good. Chip! Did I lose because Chip died? There's basically just like a, a time limit here. Yeah. yeah. That fucking sucks. <laughs> I can't even. I can't do anything to help Chip.
Okay, so I'm doing. Some, I'm trying to do some research to find some factoids uh -huh. that would be helpful. Um, I would like to give a huge shout out to uh, to um, the IGN uh, the IGN walkthrough. Uh huh. Uh, where they say that you should uh, dodge the attacks. Hey, what are you That's <laughs> very helpful. You know, I'm trying. I'm doing my best to, to dodge those. It's not worth Sonic's hanging around the retracted snake head. Sonic's Keep on the move at all times. Yeah, but there was only one left. Last time, so... Oh, oh shit, like, we down to one left? Yeah, there was there was only one, and it had retracted, and that's why I was hanging around. I didn't really have any choice at that point. I like how we're calling these snakes, but they're like they're more like dragon heads. Like those don't look like snake heads. Wasn't there like a similar thing to this in the in like the ice stage? Dark boss or whatever, like a hmm. shield that was based on worms or something. I think the key to dodging the attacks is probably just changing direction a lot because he probably, like, you know, leads the shot. Well, why is, like, nobody poking out? If you see the health bar up here, that means that they're getting ready to come out. Ooh, nice spot. Ah! Uh -oh. You are right, Elena. You're a little genius. Thank you. It's good to be a genius for once. You're my little genius. My little genius. My little genius. How many worms are there in total? Too many. <laughs> This is my least favorite supersonic level I've ever done. Just that this is just my least favorite Sonic game I've ever played, I think. Oh damn, that's bold. I'm, I just, I haven't really enjoyed my time with this at any step of the way, really. Eventually we'll play the Wii version and we'll see how I feel about that. I know that at the very least, people at the time said the Wii version's like climax is better. I've seen a lot of people say shit. they they only played the Wii version. Oh come the fuck on. <laughs> like basically everybody I've talked to about the fact that I'm playing Sonic Unleashed mm. is like I tell them about my problems and they're like, huh? And they're like, oh you're not playing the Wii version. <laughs> like apparently the Wii version is the one that most people play in. Oh, add. Which I guess makes sense considering how big of a console the, the Wii was. You gonna pay for Mario, Ab? Okay. Welcome back. How's everybody like my new shirt, by the way? I think it's a cool shirt. It's a cute shirt, I think. And it came from where you live, Bess. I made it. It was me. Oh, thank you. You should give her Shen. I'm queuing up as we speak. Oh Shan. yeah, add gone. How you like my new shirt, Shan? I was asking everybody how they like it. I think eventually we're just gonna have a good run, I think, and then it'll be fine.
Oh. The good thing one ups are easy to get because we've blown through a lot more than six tries. Yeah. Yeah. God. Please, Sonic Unleashed, just fucking end. <laughs> It's so fucking long. Please, Sonic Unleashed, just shut the fuck up. I think this is uh, this is longer than our Sonic Frontiers stream series. That's like a big, massive open world game with a million things to do. With a million fucking Rubik's cubes to solve. Yeah. Derogatory. Worm, 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 worm. This is not that. Did the, did the rocks hit you and kill you immediately? No, he lasered me while well, I was in the middle of hitting the, the worm. Oh, for fuck's sake! I kind of want to find whose idea this was and slap him in the back of the head. Sonic. He says it so, like, wistfully. I guess I'm telling you, there's something gay going on here. I feel like he's like arguably the first person who's ever probably ever had like a, a meaningful emotional connection with for the sense of things. They saw the world together, Alina. <laughs> Murder? That's what I'd like to do. Hey, hey there. Yeah, that doesn't explain, like, why Sonic is, like, so, like, taken aback by, by everything Chip does. I almost call him Cream. That's a different character. Hey, Elena, if we, if we, if we end up game over... What right? if Chip and Cream swapped places? I... I don't but know. not designs. I don't, I, I don't know, Elena. Cream the rabbit is like Gaia. I think people. I think people would be like really confused at how like a rabbit had given birth to a chihuahua. Okay, we changed the design of of Cream's mom to look like Chip's mom. I think people would say, chip isn't and it, cheese. Isn't it weird to have like? a piece of, like, Japanese media that, like, associates a rabbit with the Earth rather than the moon. Isn't that kind of like a subversion of expectations? That's so cool. They were really keen over this one. Chip and That's cheese! That's... Chip and You're cheese! Saying, I don't see the appeal, but that's fine. <laughs> it's chip and cheese! It's inherently funny, like Bumhole Bakery Sale. We've got two fucking worms. The guy Colossus has a quintillion health. Please, just focus on the guy Colossus. Please, just Fuck. ignore Sonic. He's not ignoring Sonic. There's one worm oh. left. It's retracted right now. That what? What even hit me? Where the? What the fuck was that? There was nothing there. What? When did? How? Mm. Just don't worry about it. As long as you're alive, that's all it matters. Rexy says, chip and oh. cheese. Keep that thought, Elena. Well, at that point, their pun would be cheesy chips. Sonic. I'm so fucking done with this game. I mean, if, if we end up game over, I was saying earlier, right? Um, mm -hmm. I don't think we will. Well, you're only on four lives. Well, there was one run where I didn't manage to get enough rings. Okay. Well, I was gonna say, like, do you want- if, if it came to that, would you want to just, like, look up the fucking ending on YouTube? <laughs> I might do that even if I don't game over, just because I'm so sick and tired of doing this.
I'll get his attention, Sonic. You do something about this shield. Did you notice Sonic's dandruff? <laughs> no, that's sweat, Elena, clearly. But why is it like going up and why does it look like dust? Because because it's glistening in his glow and it's going up because the air currents he creates. Because he's super. You know, his aura is blazing. I think it's his dandruff. I don't his super dandruff. I mean, you're so disrespectful. If you, if you, like, if you sprinkle some of that on you, you, like, gain superpowers. I hate the word superpowers, <laughs> please retract. I thought you were gonna say you hated the word choice of sprinkle. Oh, sorry, if you hundreds and thousands it oh. <laughs> the sprinkle is still a word I acknowledge, uh, no, it's I fine! Just meant, no, I meant like it sounded gross. No. In this context. Why would, why would sprinkle sound gross? Because it's dandruff? I... Well, it, but it's not like, it's not like keeping it on you is gonna sound any better. <laughs> Slathering it. Slathering it! Slathering it! Slathering it! Please just focus on that fucking chill. Don't be mean to Chip. I, I'm just saying those two words, they, they have a lot of overlap. Chip and cheese. Can we just get lucky? He's gonna do the laser, I think. He's gonna do the laser, I think. Oh no, he's doing more rocks. There's one. The laser's just an insta kill, I feel. Like, what the fuck? Like, you can't. Like, is that another soft time limit? I don't think so. Like, eventually he does the laser that kills you? Okay, okay, okay. Perfect, okay, okay. Perfect. The part where he kills you. It's just Perfect like Portal 2, it's the part where he laser. kills you. Is it possible to dodge Dark Gaia's laser? Oh wait, that's talking about the fucking Gaia Colossus part. <laughs> okay, I'm going to watch a fucking video of somebody S-ranking this. Ranking. Hey, come on, insipid CGS. I need your video to load. The projectiles look like sperm? Which ones? They, I, I was, like, kind of thinking that earlier. I haven't seen any sperm. He need head and shoulders! <laughs> oh, dare you. Oh. Uh. Okay, <laughs> Gogol, can push. hedgehogs get dandruff? Well, dandruff is just dry skin, so... This is why you need to watch me with headphones on, or else I'll make your your Android device search for strange things. Xbox off. Okay, this person is dealing with the rocks. They got hit by the rocks. Never mind. No information there about you. <laughs> This person has 69 lives, so they've got to be good- oh! They couldn't dodge the laser. Good this person line. is S-ranking the fight and has 69 lives and they still didn't dodge the fucking laser. I think you can still take hits to get an S-rank. Kind of great game design right there. The game doesn't even expect you to not take hits. Oh my god, let's take this fight with sound. Why couldn't amazing. I hit so him? Why couldn't I hit the worm? You get missing, it looks like. Yeah, but I've never missed before. Like, usually I don't even have to think about it, he just hits it. I avoided the laser. Holy shit, I avoided the. 
hit a rock, but you no, know, this guy needs to come out. He's the last one. <laughs> said, you did it, Sonic. I guess I did it. Yes, dude! Oh my god, he said that at the exact same moment in the video I was watching. I love the captions for these. For his noises. Oh, quick time. Oh, Don't let me this, fail it now. Ding dong. <laughs> Mission up. Prepare to button mash? Okay, I'll mentally prepare for that. Oh, Jesus Christ, they're coming so fast. The quick time events start coming and they don't stop coming. 60! I, pr I bumped the A button. I bumped the A button and it made me start over. I lost a life for that. If you fail the quick time events, you lose a life. Excuse me? Okay, I'm just gonna shut up. What do you mean? Nobody say anything. This game is really trying my patience. I mean, it's been doing that for a lot longer than this point, but... You know what I mean. Just trying to get my goat. Okay, I'm not gonna bump any buttons this time. I'm not gonna make it. This is too many. Oh, no, I did it. Okay. <laughs> Evil quick time event. 60 of them. Holy fucking shit. If I hadn't been warned, I wouldn't have been able to do it, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, just go right through that finger, no problem. The finger doesn't really exist. Did we do it? Is that the end? There's no phase three? Did we fucking do it? Well, that is a lot of dust, dandruff, sweat, whatever. It's, it's just a bit much. <laughs> oh lordy, lordy, lordy. Yeah, look at that. It's just pouring off of him. Is super dandruff. Oh my fucking lord. Could you imagine so if he didn't catch him and he just landed in the lava and that was the end of the series? <laughs> Is he in the Sonic? It's like he's like an ant. <laughs> and just to think, this whole playthrough only happened because I wanted to play Saints Row 2. <sighs> It was the inciting incident for me discovering Xenia. It's because Saints Row 2, oh. the Saints Row 2 PC port sucks so much ass that <laughs> just emulating the Xbox 360 version is more stable at this point. That is dire. <laughs> and then from there I discovered, like, oh yeah, we could do Sonic Unleashed. A Pokeball? Oh, it's just Orbot. But before he got a personality. I'm for better back then. Look at those fucking animations. Jesus. I've never seen Egg Eggman move like that before. It was called an Eggbot. <laughs> wow. What was I thinking about Larbot? The guy in the background of you, didn't I? There was no way Sonic would let something like that happen. And right you were. Still, 
We cannot live without the night. We all must sleep. We all must rest. Darkness is a part of our world, just the same as light. Oh, shut the fuck up, Mr. Pickle. You think you're being so deep right now? Who <laughs> do I greet Amy on a, on a date before this? I think so. I remember that coming up. I hate all this mocap acting. It looks terrible. <laughs> Look, she's so small. <laughs> Little Annin Mole. Why is she moving like that? She's going like... <laughs> Amy never learned how to walk. <laughs> Amy drunk theory. <laughs> Amy's always drunk. Oh, Chip is a ghost now. Would my animation be like? Oh, oh you're right. Bye, Chip. Chip. What the fuck was that transition? What the fuck was that? It like messed up which one was transparent for a second. Like the hand was transparent and Chip was 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 solid. That feels like an emulation error. <laughs> Probably. It's yeeting time. Is he gonna do a thumbs up like the Terminator? No. Goodbye, Chip. It happened again. <laughs> Faze planned in here again. But this game really loves its depth of field, doesn't it? Yeah. That's how you knew it was next gen back in 2008. <laughs> oh. Wait, he's still here. Oh. That thing's like big enough he could like Sonic would just wear that around his torso. Oh. No, that it wasn't that small. You can't no. That's not That's not how this works. <laughs> I never noticed that it shrinks between shots. Oh, that's <laughs> kind of incredible. It looks like a gag. Uh Oh, this is such mid-2000s energy, the music. Like, this feels like a commercial for, like, sneakers you'd see on Nickelodeon. Is this Endless Possibilities by Bowling for Soup? Wow. Uh, Are they singing about how it's their escape like, and then running like through this, this world about this, looking back? This song just makes me think of, like, teenagers skateboarding and... and <laughs> Stuff like that. That's the main. That's the main theme of the game, Elena. It sounds like it'd be oh. like a Skechers commercial. I kind of like it, to be <laughs> honest. Deal with it. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just telling you the vibe it gives me. I think it's ambitious and keen on music <laughs> for the magnum opus of of, of based Brozuka. <laughs> I think this is peak cinema. <laughs> Look at this dumbass selfie they took together. Look at Chip. Oh my god. The singer is for this song is the current voice of Chuck E. Cheese. Where a kid can be a kid. Oh, that's another thing it reminds. This reminds me of like the Chuck E. Cheese jingle. Bean Pod Corp. That should my company should be that. They should give that one to me. They're eating the ice cream. 
I'm really proud of you, Elena. Thank you. You're not. Uh, you can't be too proud of me though, because I didn't get all the medals. I outsourced I that to you. I don't care. Whatever. Like you're telling me, Sonic fans are like they're gonna say, "Oh, you didn't do it right," you know. Here, everybody, enjoy the the classic space baby. Okay, that okay. <laughs> you see that? I will judge you for it. Why? Bring the classic space baby into the credits of Sonic Unleashed. This piece that is not a key. This piece is, is so now. weird, by the way, because it's like it's a bunch of it's it's basically a bunch of like existing Lego pieces, like this uh, jetpack and the helmet and everything. But like shrunk down and put into like one mold. Is that kind of funny? That is a little bit funny. Can't wait for the Saints Row 2 play. <laughs> oh, I've already been playing that on my own. I got I got kind of tired of it. I think I like the later Saints Row better. Because because the thing I, I like I... about them is how just stupid they are. But Saints Row 2 is mostly just a Grand Theft Auto clone. I'm not that big of a fan of Grand Theft Auto. <sighs> so if you wanted a Saints Row playthrough on my stream, it would be Saints Row 3. Saints Row the Third. <laughs> so Elena, let's 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 review well, let's review the game stuff so far, right? Uh-huh. So, okay, so you don't like the night stuff just in general, right? Yeah. Well this that's fine. I think it's, that was the biggest slog of the game, though, overall, was those, for sure. Yeah. When it comes to the day stuff, right, like... The day stuff, and, there's not really anything to write home about. Yeah, so you, would, so you put this below colors and... Oh, for sure. I put it below so. everything. Yeah. Um. <laughs> like, you don't have... Oh, you put it below this game. It's like, yeah. Whatever Sonic game yeah. you bring up, it's below those. Unless, unless maybe it's like some of those Game Gear games. So if you had to like, like sum up the, if you had to like sum up the problems, it can't be of worse. State, it can't be worse than the shitty Game Gear games. If you had to sum up the problems but... <laughs> with like the day stages, for, as 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 like a game developer, what would you say? Like, this, what, the so problem with the what? The day stages. The day as stages? a developer. Like what would you do um, different? Like, like if you'd been brought this project halfway fucking through, what would you have ide isolated as the issue? Um, they're both two on rails and then two not on rails, and there's no distinction between the two. It's so like I have to just kind of mm. go careening off of things because it switches between brain off and brain on with no, uh, no warning. No, no, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, okay, here you have to pay attention, and it's like, what? I was just, I was just breezing through everything up until this point. I think personally I would have just put things as brain games on. Like, games like Sonic Colors do it more yeah. where there's like a stop between sections, you know? Yeah. Like if there's a part where you're mostly just cruising through the level with not much say, then it will kind of bring you to a complete halt and then you transition to more active platforming. Hmm. <laughs> so. I just think that I just think that if they just like I think that if they weren't so obsessed with making so much like spectacle and speed they could just have something where like <laughs> you know you're always brain on, so it doesn't matter anyway. Yeah, there were certain, like, some of the mission levels in Sonic Generations are, like, the best, like, boost gameplay stuff I've ever played, you know? Where it, like, actually feels like a game mechanic, <laughs> you know? I feel oh my like god, they... look! They're doing- the oh my god, look at them! Sorry, sorry, just the, the, the cringe I, uh... energy of, like, Sonic and Ship posing like that was I just thought that me. the, um, the, I, I feel like the peak of the boost formula was Generations, for sure. It was, it was, it was uphill from here to Generations, and then it was downhill after that <laughs> with forces and everything. I mean, Frontiers is okay. Frontiers, I think, is a better boost formula game. I, I don't know if I'd call it but, one, to be honest. I mean, you have the boost. 
Yeah, but like, but, it, like, like the entire I mean, way it does the other like, stuff, obviously. But like, in terms I mean, you of can games, turn in that one though. I guess rather you can't than turn say, in I guess rather than calling it boost formula, it's just sort of like post boost introduction games. Yeah. Dark of Bam Bam is out today on PS4. Isn't it out on the Switch now, too? We created Garden of Bam Bam because, like, people discovered it and they're like, look how shitty it is, and, like, everybody complained about it. But everybody played it, right? <laughs> everybody gave it exposure. Wait, wait. <laughs> We are to blame for Garden of Ban Ban. Did you know they made Garden of they're make the like they most recently released Garden of Ban Ban seven, but they've still never released five. They just skipped it. They went straight from four to six. Another on seven. Does the store is there like a chunk of the story missing? I don't know. All I know is that they skipped one. Which is one of the decisions of all time. I, I, I'm like, kind of forgive. I think, like, people are maybe slightly meaner than they have to be towards Ban Ban, right? <laughs> like, like, I know some people say it's a scam, right? Uh-huh. Which is just not the case. It's just, it is a game, it, it's, it's a game, and you buy it, and you play it, and it's not like it lies to you on the page. <laughs> it's just a game that you don't respect, you know? <laughs> and most of the people, and you know, it's like, it is good content fodder. Oh my god, look at that Eggman lollipop. Oh. I'm glad you said pop at the end there, because I was concerned for a second. Ugh. Like that Eggman what? Oh my god, look at Chip holding those little buds. Why is this image so weird? You missed it, you oh, fucking it's all the poop! It's all the hot dog men. You missed it, you poop! You were looking at your stupid Legos, and you missed the- I don't know, I'm having fun. <laughs> It's fine. Sorry. It's fine. It's fine. It's just you missed the gross image of chip motorboating some like dumplings. Oh. I've seen the bonus cutscene. I didn't unlock it. I just looked it up on YouTube though. One other minifigure over here. It's Aloy. I'm still thinking about that stupid post you showed me yesterday. Oh yeah, the one about Aloy's ear hair or whatever. Her lack of it. Oh my god, look at Chip having a mm. starburst. Look at him. He is standing there. <laughs> Sadik, you I know also I have, have the one. entire Tomek set over here, but that's harder to move. Mm. Easily. I still need to play uh Horizon Forbidden West. Are we on the sad music yet? Um it's like it's very upbeat now. So maybe it was already the sad music. And at I some just point, didn't think it was. At some, point should, at some point, you should have played the song "Dear My Friend," which is like the theme of Sonic and Chip's bromance. <laughs> oh, sleepy well, uh, Shan. Good night, it's been great Shan. having you here. I'm glad you were here to see us finally take down st stupid guy. He's an eye guy. Playing the Sonic Unleashed theme now. I love how they did the Terminator scene. Alright, time to build some more ancient ruins before the next time this happens. Because those <laughs> ones melted into the lava. I really- I kind of wish this game wasn't canon. It, it, it's really weird to have this in the lore. <laughs> kind of 
active then? Why is Sonic Team all one way? Created by Sonic Team. Well, you say that, Maxi, but in Frontiers they mention Dark Gaia, so it, it has to be. Our next Sonic game is going to be uh, Sonic Dream Team. I'm going to pick up an Apple TV after the first of the month. And then uh, when that gets here... What the fuck happened to the... The game broke more. What happened? More? Look. <coughs> it's like oh, no. it's like censored now. Oh. <laughs> this what game happened? Util e this is an autosave feature. Please do not and storage device when autosave icon appears. <laughs> Maxi says Chip's screen. bracelet really isn't shown again, as if Chip doesn't matter to Sonic anymore. Wow, you never get to see the Earth put back together fully, huh? It's always gonna annoyingly have this little bit sticking out. Oh, there is actually one thing you can do now, which is maybe worth showing off. Uh, whoa, look, funny. it's all broken! What happened to the text? Um, Elena, Eggman Land now has a hub. Oh. If you wanna go look at that. Why did the text all break, though? That is a good question, I don't know. Do I just go to Eggman Land? Yes. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I can talk to the robots? Mm -hmm. Wow! <laughs> this is incredibly stupid, I love it. Give them, give them, give them, give Three and a half seconds old. Them. Please converse with me. What do you think of me, honestly? Uh, you're normal? I would like to travel someplace far away. Take a trip overseas? It's kind of boring. You asked me to do this? What is your name? Tails! <laughs> I'm Sonic. Tell me about that. Get some rest. The boost dash is my hobby. Hack? What's wrong? I have reconfigured my personality so we can be friends. Oh yeah! I am Eggman yeah. Fighter. I will not lose to the likes of Sonic. Nobody can stop my fighting spirit. How is that? Does that suit you? No, can we be buddies? What in God's name? There's a hot dog man here. What's up, pal? Don Faccio's Eggman Land hot dog stand? No, I'm... No, 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 no. Beat the level within 75 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I think that's about how long it took me. Hey, uh, can I just mention something interesting about the the egg po the egg fighters here? Uh huh. Um, they are all. They, have, have you noticed the references in their names? No, egg shop. Egg dog. Eggman's favorite chili dog. It's positively scrumptious. What the fuck is on it? Pop an egg corn. What in the world? Ever try feeding food to Chip? I never did any food, anything. Yeah, Elena just, just straight up just did not engage with a lot of the side stuff. But yeah, Elena, if you the of these egg fighters up at the front, right? One uh -huh. of them is called MD nineteen MD nineteen ninety one. So that's like Mega Drive, you know? Uh -huh. and there's like a DC I think there's like a DC nineteen ninety six. Um 
And then eventually you get to um, XB 2006. And that's the one that I think was born Xbox. three seconds ago and was acting like an idiot. Oh. I see. Which is seen as a jo which is seen as a, a little a little jab at Sonic 06. Oh, <laughs> the, annoying, the annoying one is that one. Oh dear. Yeah, chip well, yeah, chip already. You done? I am pleased to never have to play this game ever again. I'm like I'm looking forward to playing the Wii version though to compare. I have a feeling I'm gonna like the un a lot better. So I guess the final question is just You gotta admit it's ambitious, right? I don't And it was like a little bit peak and key though. <laughs> no. And it was kind of the No no no. <laughs> anyway, uh I was gonna say so the so so the next Sonic yeah. game we're playing is Sonic Dream Team on the Apple TV. Yeah. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna pick up a new sensor bar for my Wii, uh, and a copy of Sonic Unleashed for the Wii, and we will stream that. Nice. I, I need to get a new sensor bar for the Wii anyway because I need that for uh, Super Paper Mario, which I'm going to play uh, once I finish uh, Thousand Your Door. I'm gonna so. super <laughs> sitting here right behind me in the Garfield case. Okay. <laughs> Did you see this? I see it. Yeah, I like that the new Garfield movie is called The Garfield Movie, and this one's Garfield the Movie. <laughs> Not to be confused. It's a bit like when the UK's Nintendo Magazine, which was called Nintendo Official Magazine, got replaced with Official Nintendo Magazine. <laughs> so you had Nom and Onma. Oh. I'm so exhausted by just the weight of that entire stream series. <laughs> uh. Let's imagine how much more exhausted I would be if I had sat and done getting all the medals. Could you imagine how much worse I would feel right now if I had had to do that? Jesus Christ. You know, I had my first, like, healthy French- healthy in quotes, maybe. But my first, like, healthy friendship with somebody because they did Sonic Unleashed S-Rank videos and I met them through that. Uh, Sonic Unleashed was a big for deal. For a second, I thought you were about to say your first healthy French kiss. No. Like, what? No. What's an unhealthy French kiss? Like they have a sore throat and you get you catch a little bit of that. They just fill their mouth with garbage face. Uh, and then French uh, kiss you. Oh, well, thank you everybody for watching. I'm going to be back tomorrow and I'm going to build the um, Animal Crossing Lego set with Sasha. It'll be a lot of fun. Hope you'll look forward to that. And then I'll be back on Saturday. And I'm gonna keep playing. Um, I do have a classic controller pro. <laughs> to be fair, the motion controls um, in Sonic Unleashed we are just for boosting. Which isn't that bad. It's not that bad. Um... But yeah, you, I, sometimes you can wag a little. Saturday, I'm gonna play Pikmin 4, and we're maybe gonna finally beat it. That game just keeps going. Like, I keep thinking, like, oh, yes, we're finally at the end, and then it's like, nope, we're still going. So, who knows when that game will end, if ever. Um, um so we're gonna do that, and then maybe uh, Super Mario 64 DS as well. And then someday I would like to return two thousand year dollars. Yeah, that's yeah coming up. Also in June, um, uh, Luigi's Mansion Two uh, HD comes out. So I will I will stream that as well because I love that game. Um, Have a nice night, Maxi. <laughs> 
<clears throat> there's also, of course, there's a Nintendo Direct next month as well at some point, so that'll be interesting. <laughs> It'll give us some uh, food for conversation. Yeah, see you all later. Goodbye. <laughs>